Yo, what if this little gadget in your hand was the key to unlocking the digital world around you? You don't have to be one of the people who gets one and then ask, now what? This guide is your roadmap. I'm Jay Blanked and in about 10 minutes, I'll walk you through everything from unboxing to installing the custom firmware that unlocks its true power. By the end, you won't be a beginner anymore. Let's get into it. First things first, let's get the big legal disclaimer out of the way. This video and all the information here are for educational purposes only. The Flipper Zero is a powerful tool for security research and testing. You should only ever use it on devices and networks that you own or have explicit permission to test. Using this device for malicious or illegal activities is obviously against the law and we do not support that in any way. This community is about curiosity and learning, so let's keep it responsible. All right, with that said, let's dive in. All righty, the very first thing you need before you even power on your flipper is a micro SD card. This is definitely not optional. You absolutely have to have one. The SD card is where the flipper keeps all its databases, signal library, scripts, and application. Now, don't just grab any old card. I recommend using a high quality card from a trusted brand like SanDisk or Samsung or Kingston. The reason is all about speed and reliability. A cheap no-name card can cause your flipper to freeze, crash, or corrupt data, which is definitely the headache you don't need. A 32 gigabyte card is perfect for what you need. While larger cards might work, compatibility can be hit or miss, so it's safest to stick with a 32 gig. Now, next we need to connect our flipper to the computer using a USB-C cable. Now, very important here, make sure it handles data. This is a common stumbling block because many cheap USB-C cables are for charging only and they lack the necessary data wires. If I remember correctly, the one included in the box is data capable, so you can use that. Okay, now we need to get QFlipper, which you can get from the official Flipper Devices website. QFlipper is the official desktop app for managing your device on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. We'll use it for updates, file management, and backups. So go ahead, download, and install it, then we'll move forward. Once installed, open up QFlipper. As long as your flipper is connected, the app should automatically detect it, showing its name, the firmware version, your SD card details, and more. And just like that, you have a solid foundation, an SD card, and a working link to your computer. Now, before diving into custom firmware, there is one critical step you cannot skip. Update to the latest official firmware first. Now, I know you're excited, but trust me, the official updates patch major bugs. Especially if you have an outdated flipper, this is crucial to get your flipper up to date. We need a clean, stable base. Luckily, this is extremely straightforward. You already see the install button in QFlipper. All you have to do is go and click install and then click update. And QFlipper will do the rest. It will download the latest firmware, copy it to your flipper, and your flipper will reboot. The whole process takes just a few minutes and once you're done, you're officially up to date. All right, great. So I know the question in your head is, why do all that just to replace it? What's the point of custom firmware? 
Now, if you're a complete beginner, I'd actually recommend you stick with the official firmware for a while. Get comfortable with the basics, learn the menus, and see what it can do out of the box. Then, when you feel you're ready to unlock its true potential, I'll show you how to install Momentum, which is the number one custom firmware in the community. The stock firmware is perfect, but it's built to be legally compliant everywhere the flipper is sold. This means it does have limitations, especially around sub gigahertz radio frequencies. Custom firmware built by a passionate community removes many of these regional restrictions for research purposes. More than that, it also packs in a ton of new features, community apps, and quality of life tweaks that make the flipper far more capable. Now, as of late 2025, the community has thrown its weight behind a few main firmware projects. Older ones like Extreme have been retired as their developers created newer, better options. Now, one of the top choices right now in the one we'll install is called Momentum. It's a direct successor to the legendary Extreme firmware, maintained mostly by one of their developers, Willie JL. It's known for being stable and packed with features, rolling up the best parts of other firmwares and adding even more. Well, let's get it installed. The developers made this extremely easy. First, make sure QFlipper is closed so it doesn't interfere with the serial connection. Now you need to open up either Google Chrome or the Microsoft Edge browser and go to momentum-fw.dev. All you have to do is go and click install on the main page, and then we'll select the channel, we'll choose mainline since it's stable and tested which i strongly recommend for your first time then all you do is click install and just like we did with qflipper it will copy the firmware over to your flipper zero and it handles the entire process by itself And that's it. You're now running one of the most powerful custom firmwares available. Now let's see what you've accomplished. Unplug your flipper from your computer and let's start exploring the menu. Click the center button. We can use the left and right D-pad keys to look through the different options available. Today, we're gonna go back and check out the apps. Click the center button on apps. Now, thanks to the Momentum firmware, it's now filled with new tools that weren't there before. And if you want to expand its capabilities further, you can browse and install more apps from the official catalog. It's at lab.flipper.net and there are over 220 apps available for you to go through. You've successfully transformed your flipper from a blank state into a powerful feature-packed multi-tool. You installed a reliable SD card, updated the firmware for stability, and flashed a custom powerful firmware to unlock its true potential. But the journey doesn't stop here. It's just getting started. The best thing you can do now is simply play with it. Go through the apps, check out the descriptions on their GitHubs, and see what they do. Then start experimenting, obviously safely and responsibly. After all, this is a tool for exploration. So go explore, go learn, and as the community likes to say, hack the planet. Now, if this guide helped you out, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow and it's free. If you want to see more deep dives into what this awesome little gadget can do, 
make sure to subscribe for more. And if you have any questions or just want to share the first thing you're going to do with your flipper, drop a comment below. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. You've just completed the most important steps in your Flipper Zero journey. You now have a device that's set up correctly, it's completely stable, and it's loaded with everything you need to start exploring the world of hardware and radio signals. I'm Jay Blanked. Until next time, peace.